was a, a fiery in Brisbane for um, 25 years. And uh, in, in that time, uh, I had experienced or was involved in many critical incidents and that involved uh, injury and death. And, and some of those were uh, attendances at, um, well, we were first in attendance at suicides. When I joined as a fiery, I just expected to be um, uh, putting the wet stuff on the hot stuff, I suppose. So I think it was exposure to, to many uh, different incidents uh, that had, um, eventually caught up with me, um, an accumulation of all those things um, had manifested itself in, a, in the form of a, a nightmare for me. I wasn't getting any rest, I, I'd often wake up in a, in a panic attack. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't plan um, suicide, but I, I knew at that, at that stage that essentially what I wanted to do is escape myself. I approached a station officer on the oncoming shift. It was someone who I respected and trusted. And uh, I just said to him, listen, I'm not feeling right physically and mentally. And, um, and, and at that stage, I, I felt absolutely naked. I felt like I, I'd just been stripped bare, not, not a stitch on. But um, I knew that if, if I didn't make that approach, then I, then I wouldn't get back to feeling right again. So it was at that stage that um, it was recommended by that station officer to uh, contact um, uh, support services for fireys as well as my GP and, and I did both. I'd like to think that they can um, uh, humanise the situation and what I mean by that is, is take the pips off their shoulders and come back and, and try and be where that person is in a way and sometimes it can be just detected maybe not so much from the people at the top because they're not seeing you all the time but but the people that you're working with um, might be able, able to see some changes in in character maybe becoming quiet uh, withdrawn um, just yeah just out of character not not doing the things that they normally would do some sort of uh, psychological help or some sort of counselling help that they can go to um, that, that is confidential. Um, because um, for me, I, I was in a culture where we needed to be relied on 100% um, all the time. Um, that's, that's needing that I need to be uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically, all together when I'm working, uh, because if um, if we go into a situation together, we want to be coming back out uh, together. To stay at that level, um, if if we have that help, um, that psychological help, uh, whether it's called first aid or whatever it might be, um, um, straight away, and then maybe with follow-ups, um, I think that would be good measures to have in place.